Telefonica Germany, more commonly known by its trading name of O2, is a huge multi-platform fixed and mobile telecommunications provider in the country of Germany. And in today's video, I will explain what frequencies they have to operate their mobile network with and the kind of mass examples that radiate 4G signal that are deployed across the country. O2 Germany operate their network on very conventional European frequencies. So they have 2 by 10 megahertz on the 800 megahertz band, which forms the base 4G layer in most of the country. And then on top of that, there are additional capacity layers, which are higher frequency. So 1800 megahertz, which can be run at up to 2 by 20 megahertz for 4G, dependent on the amount of G18, so 2G 1800 megahertz deployed and broadcasting in a certain area. They also have 2600 megahertz, which is run at 2 by 20 megahertz in high load urban environments. O2 Germany does also possess 700 megahertz spectrum, 2 by 10 megahertz of it, but that is not currently deployed. The 4G signal is broadcast using radio access network equipment from either Huawei or NSN, dependent on where in Germany you are. In terms of 2G and 3G broadcast, that can come from a large variety of different vendors, dependent once again on where you are, but also on the original owner and broadcaster of the site. So O2 had certain 2G and 3G vendors and as did E+. So there is quite a variety in terms of 2G and 3G equipment, but for 4G it's Huawei or Nokia Siemens networks. In the legacy spectrum side of things, they have 2 by 10 megahertz of 900 megahertz, which is used for 2G services currently. And then on 2100 megahertz, they have 34.65 megahertz of spectrum, which is an absolutely absurd amount of 2600 megahertz. And of course, the reason they have so much is because of the O2E plus merger that happened previously and for which the consolidation is still very much happening. And with so much 2100 megahertz spectrum, they can run up to six 3G carriers. Six, that's a lot of 3G carriers, considering Deutsche Telekom can only run two carriers of 3G. So that is really a huge amount of 2100 megahertz spectrum at this point in time. Now that I've covered the spectrum possession of O2 Germany, I shall move on to examples of what their masks look like in roughly ascending order from low capacity examples to very high capacity examples. And therefore the first mask that I shall speak about is low frequency only with 2G on 900 megahertz and 4G on 800 megahertz. This example does not have 3G because it does not have 2100 megahertz. The antennas are catherine and quite helpfully painted as well to help them blend into the environment. Ascending from this mast, the obvious next level is to add 3G on 2100 MHz. So in this case, there is 4G 800 MHz again, but also 3G 2100 MHz. And on the left example, which uses triple band catherine antenna, that is all there is, but on the right example there is also the 2G 900 megahertz as well using a quad band cathrine antenna and in both of these examples there are spare ports on the antennas for additional frequencies to be added in future. I designated the previous masts as low capacity ones by virtue of the fact that they only had 10 megahertz of paired LT bandwidth because of their 800 megahertz 4G. So naturally the progression from this is to move to a single or bait larger LTE carrier. And that's the first example of the medium capacity masts uses 4G 1800 megahertz alongside 3G 2100 megahertz. This mast uses Huawei antennas instead of Catherine ones and these Huawei antennas have three sets of high band ports on them so 
800 megahertz and 900 megahertz etc can't be deployed onto this antenna only high frequencies can so this mask doesn't have any 2g it's just the 3g on 2100 megahertz and 4g on 1800 megahertz this next example builds on the previous one however instead of there being three sector 3g this one has six sectors of 3G 2100 megahertz to provide a huge amount of 3G capacity. The dual beam antenna is used to provide the six sector coverage because three times two equals six are made by Catherine and the other antennas are made by Huawei and they are dual high band antennas which provide the capability for, for example, 2600 megahertz 4G to be added to the site at a later date. However, at the time I visited, and I think even today, it is 4G on 1800 megahertz only. The Huawei base station equipment is very visible in this example with a set of Huawei cabinets to the side of the mask picture, but also some Huawei RIUs visible in the image as well. Following on from the previous high band only mast example, this one is also high band only, however it uses 2600 MHz as its 4G carrier as opposed to 1800 MHz. This example is only 3 sectors for 3G, however it does have 6 carriers of 3G on it, which is a huge amount of 3G bandwidth as I said earlier. It also has 2G 1800 megahertz. Now this mask does not use multi-band antennas for O2. It uses three cathode antennas in each sector, each of which are single high band. This is one antenna for the 2G 1800 megahertz, one antenna for 3G 2100 megahertz, and one antenna for the 4G 2600 megahertz. The rest of the antennas higher up on the mask, because O2's at the bottom, are for telecom, Deutsche Telekom. So now carrying on with the medium capacity mast examples, I will talk about one which has two carriers on it. So 4G 800 megahertz and 4G 1800 megahertz. And this also has 2G 900 megahertz and 3G 2100 megahertz. And it uses two sets of antennas for the mast. So two antennas per sector. One of the antennas is a Huawei dual low band antenna which carries the 4G 800 megahertz and 2G 900 megahertz and the other antenna is a triple high band Huawei which we've seen in a number of the previous mast examples. The triple high band Huawei antenna has some spare ports on it which can be used to add a further LTE frequency such as 2600 megahertz which is exactly what we shall see on a later mast example. But first I will speak about another dual 4G carrier medium capacity mast example. And in this case, there is 3G 2100 megahertz and 4G 1800 megahertz and 4G 2600 megahertz. Potentially there's also 2G 1800 megahertz here. Well, there certainly was. I'm not sure necessarily whether there is now. And this is using a triple high band Huawei antenna, as we have seen many times before, with each frequency going into each set of pores. O2 Germany doesn't really do much diplexing, if any, at all. I feel that we have now suitably covered the medium capacity mast, so it is time to move on to the high capacity examples, which have lots of LTE bands, not just one carrier or two carriers, but they have three carriers and other features as well. This first high capacity example uses a dual low band Huawei antenna and a triple high band Huawei antenna, which we saw two masts ago. Except in this case, the triple high band Huawei antenna has all three sets of ports in use and that's because unlike in the example two ago there is not just 3G 2100 megahertz and 4G 1800 megahertz there is also 4G 2600 megahertz like I alluded to then so this has 2G 900 megahertz 4G 800 megahertz 3G 2100 megahertz and then the 4G 1800 megahertz and 4G 2600 megahertz 
So three LT vans and three LT carriers for a lot of capacity. Following on from that example is this one, which is functionally actually very similar, apart from the fact it uses a quad band Huawei antenna, which has a mixture of low band ports and high band ports to carry the majority of the frequencies and the 3G2900 MHz is broadcast on single high band Catherine antennas, of which there are six, to provide a six sector layout of 3G2100 MHz. As this is in the high capacity mast layout section, there is also the 4G800 MHz, 4G1800 MHz and 4G2600 MHz alongside 2G900 MHz as well. The final high capacity mast that I will talk about is also the final mast of this video. And this is very similar to the first high capacity mast in that there is the dual low band Huawei antenna and the triple high band Huawei antenna. Except in this case there are also six single high band Catherine antennas for 2100 MHz 3G as in the previous example. Except because this mast uses the dual low band Huawei antennas and the triple high band Huawei antennas, things are split split up a bit more between the antennas. So 2G900 and 4G800 both go into the dual low band Huawei antenna, much as the first high capacity example. And the 4G1800 MHz and 4G2600 MHz both go into the triple high band Huawei antenna, leaving some ports bare because obviously the ports, those ports would have been used for 2100 MHz, but to achieve the six sector, they had to go for a, another option, i.e. using the six single band Catherine antennas at the top there to do the six sector 3G. As I alluded to previously in the video, because of O2 and E plus merging their networks, this is very much just a whistle stop tour of the some examples of masks that broadcast 4G, 4O2 in Germany. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any comments or anything, let me know. I will try and subtitle this into German like I did with the Deutsche Telekom video. However, subtitling videos into another language is very, very time consuming and it has been a long time since I last studied German. So please wait and I will try my best.